Hey, so this is a quick tutorial on how to get uh, sound effects over your mix, which is a massive feature of hip hop. Anyone who's ever listened to a hip hop or a dancehall mixtape has heard a million times, and you might want to bring it into your mixing as well, as I do. So you get that kind of like. You know, you know the vibe. Um, so what you're going to want to do is obviously there's no good having your sound effects just on the track decks you're going to be needing to use deck three and deck four uh, you're also going to need to have a collection of sound effects but i've got you on that if you look in the description of this video there's a link there to a folder which has got all of these kind of effects in it just stuff i've made myself by combining things things like glass smashing with explosions uh you know lasers that sound basically massively cliched sound effects that I love. Um, so to get this working for you, you're going to need to do a couple of things in the preferences. So open up your settings or your preferences over here and get yourself to decks layout. You are going to want deck C and deck D to be remix decks. This is because it will give you a maximum amount of slots to load up with effects in it. Then click show C and D and voila, there we go we've got a whole load of remix sets here now you can load up your effects into each individual slot you can drag them in like so and yeah you see that's kind of annoying it going like that if you're clicking on it what you want to do instead is use the hotkeys to trigger the samples. Now these are automatically mapped. If you look at your controller manager, if you're in Tractor Scratch 2 default mapping, generic keyboard, which you should be, I guess. Uh, even if you're using a controller, these keys tend to work. In my experience with all controllers, these keys have still been active. Um, the default settings are that. Oh. You need to unclick that play as well. So if that plays on and it's an automatic loop going on, we don't want that. Let's take that act off. There we go. Right, so now the default keys are Z. Starts and stops slot one. As you might expect, the next key along. X does slot 2. Uh, for 3 and 4, it's C and V, which is just the next letters along on the keyboard. They also load up the decks as well. So if you push Control C on a PC, and it's probably Command C on a Mac, um, it loads up the deck for you. There we go. And then just pushing C by itself will trigger that sound effect. Uh, and obviously Control V puts it into the next one. And there we are. The next decks along are the next keys for the next decks for deck D rather are B, N, M and the comma key. So just loading them up now. And there we have a whole load of things there. You can play them all at once if you want. There we go. Now you can actually also run these decks through the effects units as well. So say you've got like a reverb on over here to get like that really crazy sound. You turn on effects unit one there and you can turn the effects on or off on each individual slot. So let's just say that we only want one of them to be going through the reverb, which is whatever this is, sharp laser here. We've selected effects one on there. Now when you push the B button, it's got that reverb on it as well. Look, we can make it massive. You can kind of play with it as it goes along. All of that kind of stuff. Put a bit of delay on it if you will, if you want. Now, I'm a big fan of mapping hotkeys for stuff because I'm, I'm, you know, you don't want to be clicking on there on and off on and off you want to be able to do it with hotkeys like so now you see i'm going to show you now how to map those um you don't have to do this this is just not like, really just being thorough with it if you open up your preferences again and go to controller manager 
then go add in go down to what is it it's mixer uh, and go to FX unit one on right now we're gonna go learn I've already done deck C so I'm gonna do deck D now I'm gonna go learn I'm gonna push the asterisk key on my keyboard's keypad just push any key you like make sure it's one that isn't already assigned so I would pick ones over in the number pad because they tend to be uh, free uh, they haven't got like a pre-assigned default setting on tractor 2 um, so I've pushed the asterisk key on the number pad uh, click learn off and then you've got to tell it that you want it to be on deck D so go deck D now I'm going to change it to toggle as well so if you push it once it turns on the effects unit and once it turns it off and we'll do that again with uh, add in another one we want to add in effects unit 2 uh, we do that as that minus key on the number pad and then device target deck D and button on toggle close that now now if I push there we go asterisk and a toggle so now you can actually uh, should you want to say you've got this laser you can as you're doing it then you can toggle on and off the effects as it's playing which is quite nice uh, you just need to make sure as well obviously the effects thing is connected there because if I run this one you see the effects is doing nothing but turn on that effects there play it again and you can give it like a never-ending tail basically Ooh. yeah you can give it a never-ending tail which is quite a nice little feature to have with your effects um, one last thing I'm doing this all internally uh, on the output routing so I'm using the internal mixer because I haven't got a sound card plugged in if you have a sound card plugged in you are gonna have to root your decks um, which means that there'll be like an here we are there'll be C and D there you're gonna have to tell that where it's going to be going to um, there's probably like a you can run them through channels A and B or just through a master channel uh, you decide either way but obviously if you run if you run the output through the same output as deck A it's only going to play that side if your crossfader is pushed over to the left or to, to the deck A side and the same with D if you run it so it's coming out of output deck D you're only going to be able to hear this stuff when the crossfader is over or the volume is up on that channel B as well if that makes sense if not uh, go crazy in the comments section okay thanks for listening bye bye